Okay. Oh, man, I just realized my eyes might be a little strained. Oh, we gotta connect to the site. Alright. So, did no research as usual. So we could do it live. So the friend, we're doing it live. We're doing it live. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I hope those Paramount Staker F words are have lost all their money, which I'm sure they have. So, all right. Uh, just give me a second here. My eyes just. Uh, I guess I haven't been blinking my eyes, funny enough, because obviously I'm just watching the computer. Also, I'm gonna actually experiment with just simply listing my YouTube videos every day on my Twitter. Trying to, I can try to rank for some stuff because, as I said in my last video, part of the problem is that because my channel is very honest, it has the slowest growth because it's not a pump and dump uh, channel. It's actually the complete opposite. And of course, I don't take payment for my videos either, which, which would be really nice if I could. So. You know, uh, it's, uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's just how it goes. So, yeah. So it really just makes me realize, yeah, it's like the reason why everyone's like an asshole is because you get rewarded for it. <laughs> and that's really bad for like the ecosystem and like the world and stuff. So I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure out how to deal with it eventually, or I'll have to figure it out. So first things first is they chose to put a notice. Oh, this thing says notice. So if I hit this button, it shows this. Uh, oh, shows up right here. Oh, okay. Well, this is obviously very garbled, but I mean, this is the only way I can really get something here. Great. Of course, it's not formatted correctly. Invest two hundred dollars worth of tether to get a bird. Uh, ten, twenty, thirty randomly. Um. One day is four forty cents, eighty cents, or a dollar twenty. One month is twelve twenty-four thirty-six tether. After a year you will get one forty-six, one eighty-two, four thirty-eight. Invest a hundred tether to get a bird ninety. One hundred ten okay, th this is so confusing. This is the only thing I don't like about this site is because th this thing is just so bad. I can't, jeez. Um, but I think, I know that you're supposed to get 4%. Oh, it says right here. Invest to open, so they're obviously not English. Invest to open the Mystery Bird NFT blind box and you will get 365 days of stable income and 4% dividends every day. Uh... Okay, so you get paid 4% a day, basically, for one year. Um, now, this is technically a drip fork, so you're going to need a, uh address if you want to sign up. The problem is I kind of don't... I really don't want people giving me money for something like this, all right? Because I don't know how... I mean, obviously, this is going to be kind of hard to sustain. Even one... Even... Even at 1% or 2%, and drip network itself is 1%, they're kind of having a hard time with... Uh, with whatchamacallit's uh, sustainability. Now, that being said, this seems like a simplified drip fork. So, I guess for your convenience, I have to give you some kind of address to use. So, yeah, because yeah, cause there doesn't seem to be like the share rewards and all that stuff. It's just straight up buy a box and you get 4% uh, every day and that's it. And then you have to have a referral. I guess I'll just put in, I don't really want, oh my god, let me think, what can I do, what can I do? Oh, actually, I can't give you my address, because I have to put, because I think in order to give you my address, I have to put money into this, which means that I have to sign up under someone else. Okay, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to do that. So unfortunately, if you want to get into this project, you'll have to like search for a different YouTuber that you happen to like, aside from myself, of course, uh, and you know sign up under them. Uh, so, but I mean, you know me. Hey, the the reason why I don't like drip forks is because precisely because of that mechanic. I want to be able to go in and out without anybody, uh, without having to rely on anybody. Like that's that, that that's like my rule for crypto. <laughs> In addition to everything else. So, anyway, uh, stable and profitable. 
Well, everyone has to say that. All right. So you get 4% a day for an entire year. And then, let's see. I cannot click any of these links. So we have no way of knowing this is real or not. All right. Uh, but if it's real, they're hiding their addresses, so okay. Uh, if I hit the buy button on this, let's see. For a thousand bucks, I get whatever this is. I can also click this. A starlight box costs a thousand dollars. And I can either get a clown bird, a student bird, or a relaxation bird. So this is actually interesting. Huh. One says it has a value of 900, one says it's a thousand, and the other one's 1100. So when I buy, so let's say I buy this a thousand dollar box, I get a clown bird, funny enough, clown, for 900, and it's worth 900 bucks, so I get 4% daily of 900 dollars for an entire year. That's still pretty good, so that means I don't want to figure out the daily numbers, I bet I could, but. <sighs> Okay, I guess I'll do it. It's $36 a day. Because 4% of 900 is... No, that's actually wrong. Because for some reason, I'm multiplying 9 by 4, which is 36. Uh... 10%, 1%. Yeah, I was right. That is $36. Because 1% of $900 is $9, then $9 times 4, because it's 4%. So 4 times 1% is 4%, so 9 times 4 is $36. So you will get $36 a day for 365. Uh, 365 days. So I believe that's how it goes. Okay. And we don't see the percentages of this thing. So if I buy a pyramid box, yeah, 420, 450, 480. Okay. So I guess if you're very paranoid, you can get the $20 box. Uh, even if you get the shitty $10 tether box, that's still uh, 40 bucks at the end of the year. So you double your money after a year if you do the $20 box. If you do the $100 box, then you get something more reasonable afterwards. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Toronto baby, blah, blah, blah. show my team. By the way, whenever I try mousing over these links, I don't get the URL uh, thing on the lower left corner. So they turn that off on this site. Mm. I don't know, do you actually need a referral for this? Because this is actually a stripped down version of a drip network fork, so... What happens if I hit the open button? There's a service fee. Oh yeah, uh, not enough funds. So I can't even enable this because I gotta put. I have to put actual money in this dummy MetaMask, which obviously I'm not going to do. All right. So if you have to find a inviter address, just find a YouTuber that you happen to like and just sign up under them if you want to support them. I'm not going to give you my address because. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't actually mind, but, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, what is my, let me give you the one that I use for my liberal address. That way I can at least centralize everything. So how does this work? Let's see what happens if I put in this. Well, nothing happened. Let me reload the page. Well, nothing happened. You can add your invitees. Direct inviter. I don't even know what this does. The inviter is not activated. The inviter is not activated. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought. I have to sign up under someone else, and then I invite you afterwards so it's just like you know your drip network l m m l m l l m l m multi-level marketing scam pyramid scheme kind of thing so okay you know which of course makes this uh actually work because you know it definitely ensures that there's always affiliate marketing plus 
plus new money coming in to pay off the old money. So, um, yeah. And with prices like this, I mean, I don't know. For every one person that buys, like, the $1,000 tether box, there's got to be, like, 100 people doing the black box, right? Which is just 20 bucks. So, I guess maybe they kind of figured the math out on all this. All right, so I'm not going to give you my URL because I have to sign up under someone else. And that's definitely not going to happen, so... Yeah, but with that being said, if you're into drip networks, uh, but scaled down and much more simplified, this is actually pretty good for that. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure they also paid someone to make these NFTs as well. So, but I mean, at least it's more effort than most other projects, right? And of course, I believe this is, you know, I, I don't actually know what this is on. I mean, because these links don't actually work because it just takes me to the here right which is totally not helpful um this use is tether so <sighs> do we know does this thing i guess it, i guess they're gonna make you go on their telegram too because either this is on binance smart chain or you gotta use polygon hmm. but it didn't but i am by default on binance smart chain and it didn't actually tell me that hey you're on the wrong network so I guess you could just stick with uh, Binance Smart Chain. Or if you happen to be a sphere head like me, and you're on Polygon, of course, right? I guess you could try this on Polygon, too. But for now, I would just stick with Binance Smart Chain, because that's where all the money is anyway. So, yeah. All right, anyway, check out uh, Mystery Bird. This is 4% uh, dividends, which is spelt incorrectly. I just noticed that. That's hilarious. It's also one of the first things that you might notice. But on the other hand, I didn't notice it until just now. And it kind of, it's easier to read, but somewhat blends in with the background too. So maybe that's why it's easier to miss. Also, don't these uh, loot boxes look very tempting? It's like, hey, I'm a loot box. Open me. And we know that loot boxes are pretty much the bread and butter of video game companies now. Of course, video gamers constantly complain about it, but, I mean, gamers have always complained about everything, right? Because that's what liberals always do. They always complain about everything. Well, well, that's how it goes. But who knows? Maybe uh, they should complain, right? Because we don't actually want excessive loot boxes. I mean, I happen to really like the loot boxes. But, I mean, I could definitely see how they could be very abusive, so, you know, at the expense of the game. So, I don't know. Like, I'm playing Crossout, free-to-play game. I never have to invest a single dollar, ever, and I never will. And because it has, like, basically soft loot boxes, yeah, it's not a problem for me, because I can actually go on their uh, open market and just get the benefit of everyone else anyway. So, I, I, I just... I, because in that game they have their premium currency is just called coins or copper coins because that looks like a copper coin, and you can get that for free every day. So and you get you, you can actually get a lot too. Um, so you know if you really want like the extremely expensive stuff that costs like, I think the item is, might be worth about a few thousand dollars. Well then yeah you probably have to shell out a lot of money or, or save up a lot of coins. But I mean. Like, I'm never going to compete in the highest levels of the game. I mean, I'm, I'm too old for that now, you know? You know, I had my little thing with Counter-Strike 1.6 long ago. De almost two, more than two decades ago, you know? This was, was before streaming was ever live, right? I would have been a very big, you know, Counter-Strike uh, streamer. Had we had the uh, technology for that back then. Or even a World of Warcraft, War, World of Warcraft streamer too, but yeah, that's okay. So anyway, if you're into uh, Drip Forks, check out Mystery Bird. Um, fortunately, you're gonna have to find a uh, inviter to use. Uh, but with that being said, I mean it looks all right. Uh, they obviously have to fix the spelling errors, and they obviously need to change and fix this. This is just too difficult to read. Uh, refer your friend to get 10% commission of the amount of boxes purchased by them and a 5% commission off of the second level and 2% off the third level. So this has three levels. See, this is actually important and they put it in like the most difficult to read position. All right. This is, this has three levels of referrals. All right. Cause like in any true L, L, uh, in any true, um, 
you know, pyramid scheme, you know, you got to have multi-levels, <laughs> right? Or I used to actually do L MLM back then, way back then. So <clears throat> I'm all quite familiar with this stuff. So this is why I love crypto, because at least crypto, it kind of cuts through all the BS and goes straight for the jugular, right? And it's all online, it's all very easy, and it's all very quick. At least before crypto came along, you have to do it in person, and it's just like, it would take years before you see any results, if any, and then you would go, okay, I've wasted my time and money after all these years. So uh, that's just how it goes, man. That's just how it goes. I talk about that with multi-level marketing scams. You have to annoy your friends and family too, which I don't like. So, yeah, so that was a fun experience. So I'm done for the. Oh, well, actually, no, I'm not done for the day. Uh, I want to do a bunch of stuff. I probably want to play some cross out, just grind some more experience, right? So I can get more loot. And ah, oh, my, I don't know why. I think I have to wash my eyes again. But I'll be live later, 2 o'clock, and I don't know, we'll just see what, what happens with the markets. But I mean, I think everything looks pretty set. So unless Greg Manorino says, you know, he's got insider information from his Goldman Sachs buddies that the Fed's actually going to screw things up. Yeah, I mean, we should, uh, we should have a very good day today. And hopefully Bitcoin can maybe punch 40K. 41,000 and then that momentum will carry forward for like at least a couple of weeks before we get another bullshit crisis and then things go back down again you know so uh, we'll see how it goes anyway check out the uh, mystery bird and uh you know good luck if you're gonna buy any of these uh loot boxes all right that's what i that's what they are loot boxes all right i like loot boxes i really like them but i'm not gonna pay real life money for them at least not for something like this because you know, I, re I really don't want to open up a new tab. I'm, so, I'm I'm definitely sticking with Sphere, a little bit of my Titano. Hopefully, I can grow that position uh, a lot and cheaply. And, of course, uh, really very good minor projects. So, you know, I guess I'll feed off of that. All right, I'll see you uh, later this afternoon or tomorrow if you're not going to be able to make it. Uh, but you really should take advantage of the live stream later. It's, um, it's actually... Uh, you know, really good info. Like if if, if it was Greg Manorino was doing a live stream, you could bet I would drop whatever I was do, uh, I'm doing at that point and actually go ask him questions. All right, because you don't get that kind of multi-million dollar advice, you know, often for free for the most part. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Thanks. Uh, like, subscribe, share this video around, help grow the channel. Thank you again to all the new and old people watching uh, my videos on this channel. All right, let's uh, let's push that to 1500 and then beyond that to 1600. You know, it's a uh, you know, let's try to reward me for being actually honest for a change, right? Something rare in the space, right? You know, be like Gandhi used to say, be the change that you want to see in the world. So, which really means just hit the stupid subscribe button, so and watch my videos, kind of thing. So that because that actually is the the real metric that YouTube uses. Nothing else really matters that much, except maybe the SEO and titles. But even if you want to rank for those words, right, which means I have to put it in the titles and description, YouTube actually looks at, okay, did the person subscribe? Did they hit the like button? More importantly, how long did they watch the video? Oh, you know, they watched it a lot. It probably ranks for this keyword. Oh, they did not watch it that much. It does not rank for that video. That, that's it. That's all the YouTube algorithm is. It's actually very simple. So that's what actually matters. So, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks. See you in a bit.